Bacteriophages are viruses that specifically infect bacteria. The name bacteriophage was originally French, and it comes from the word phage, which is a, a Greek word for eating. So these were agents that originally were seen to eat bacteria. They are crazily cool, right? They look like uh, like the quintessential uh, lunar lander sort of thing, except they do that lunar landing onto a bacteria just before they kill it. 2015 is the 100th year anniversary of the first discovery of viruses and phages. And so we wanted to celebrate and honor the discovery and the, the recent advances that have been made by putting together a meeting that brings together senior scientists who've made huge contributions to the field, as well as newcomers to the field. A lot of times people talk about you know, standing on the shoulders of giants. Well, what we do in the archaeal virus community is try not to fall off. Among the people here are some of the luminaries in the field, and the field is extraordinarily exciting. But there are untold surprises here, and they can be in agriculture, in medicine, in industry, all kinds of things are going to happen from studying viruses. You just wait and see. Even though phage are really abundant and really diverse and they do all these things, most people have never even heard of them, let alone have any idea what they do. And so one of the things that we're trying is popularizing them by showing people how cool they look and getting across some of the cool biology that they do. Very early on when we talked about having a meeting, we decided that it should be not, not your run-of-the-mill scientific meeting, but something that incorporated a lot more aspects and could be accessible to many more people. The director of Arts Alive was extremely receptive to helping us with the event and, and putting something together that incorporated music and writing and fine arts. It was absolutely essential for them to participate to make this a, a unique event, a unique meeting. Interdisciplinary collaboration, particularly arts, collaboration with non-arts curriculum. It's incredibly important. It's one of the primary missions of Arts Alive SDSU is to promote those kind of collaborations. We spent the first two months of the semester just trying to understand what are viruses, what is bioscience, what is the cell biology, things that as composers we don't know anything about. And then once we got into it, I realized there's a lot in common with the way DNA is structured inside of one of our cells with the way music is put together. The artist's understanding of what phage is is very different, far different from the, the scientists. So we think in a different language, but the, the subject matter is the same. So that's what's exciting about it, that the people are speaking different language, but the, we are talking about the same thing. This little seed that we planted this particular time, it's just been the very beginning of something that we really think can grow into. Having SDSU kind of be known for interdisciplinary cross-curriculum work. So I'm just hoping that it's like kind of the beginning of something bigger.